Hey, I'm author Shannon Reber, and this is Genres Bookshop Podcast, and today I am interviewing Melinda Zook, the writer of uh, uh, two books that are in my shop and um, three short stories that are in the anthology that is officially out, uh, written by Genres Authors Guild. Melinda, welcome. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so... um, uh, let's see. We have uh, the uh, the anthology is a group of short, not exactly ghost stories, but they're just spooky type stories mm-hmm. that everybody uh, did their own thing with. You have uh, one what ghost story. Explain these to us, please. Um, the first one I did was called Charlie's Ghost, and it's just a short story about this little kid that's on a dinner cruise with his parents and they're kind of with their friends and ignoring him so he wanders off and ends up having this kind of spooky experience on the ship and then I have another one that I wrote it's um like my true life experiences with like ghosts or paranormal whatever you want to call it apartment that I used to live in and then I have a short poem that I wrote about standing at somebody's grave and that one I actually wrote after visiting my grandmother's grave one night. There oh, was, really? Yeah, there were a bunch of family members standing there at the grave, and the idea just sort of came to me, so I kind of sat down and wrote it after I got home. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry about your grandma. So, um, the, uh, the, uh, let's see, you've got three, um, which uh, I'm going to double check because I'm not positive that Charlie's, Charlie's ghost, Charlie's, Charlie's ghost, is that what it was? Yeah. I just saw your cat's tail. Um, yep, that's I, Rusty. <laughs> hello, Rusty. <laughs> um, so uh, Charlie's ghost. I'm I'm not positive it got in the book, and I don't know how uh, it got missed. But I'm going to find a way to. It might just be in the ebook because uh, the um the paperbacks. I'm I'm having issues, so <laughs> it'll probably be in the paperback as well. Oh, so um. You've got uh, two other books that are in my shop, so please explain the books that are in my shop. The first one I did was called Letters. It's a children's picture book about words and letters and trying to get kids excited for reading and give them like a new way of looking at it, trying to get like these beginning readers that are struggling, maybe give them get a little more fun to learn how to read, I guess. And I also wrote um, Anxiously Me, which is like a memoir. It's my experiences with social anxiety disorder and how I'm view and interact the world with the world around me and how I experience things okay my goal was to kind of try and show kind of give people kind of a good glimpse of what it's like living with a mental disorder okay or to let people know that you know maybe they don't you know if they're struggling that there's somebody out there that understands right exactly very very true so uh, Ryan and I did uh did uh review that one a couple years back and uh I believe I believe I gave it 9 point something or other stars. I don't remember specifically. Um but uh I I did enjoy your book. Uh anxiously me. I mean. But Thank uh you. absolutely. I it really was illuminating to uh to realize how uh, how big a struggle daily life would be, and I never even thought about it actually. So I think you your it. camera feed froze this time. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, there um, it goes. Oh, hey. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, okay. Just so that everybody else knows, we this is our second time doing it because our 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 laptops don't like each other. I don't think. <laughs> Let's be not so rude. So rude. <laughs> <sighs> but um. Let's see. So, um, anxiously me. Uh, oh, the the letters book. Um, I uh, I have uh, seen that uh, in the shop like all the time, and I was thinking back to uh, when I learned how to read. And honestly, the the thing that threw me off the worst were ing words. I could never sound out ing words, and I have no idea why. It mm. it just it never registered in my head. So maybe if you want to help out other other little kids a little bit like me, maybe you could write another one about ING words. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, 
I didn't struggle with that. Uh, I struggled more with that than I did with uh, words like light, the GH words. Mm-hmm. I I don't know why. Mm. Uh, but there you go. I <laughs> Somehow I made it through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um uh for for you reading you are not a fantasy person but you are a mystery person is that right? Yeah. Ah, what what's who's your favorite author? Do you have one? Um Recently I've been reading a lot of James Patterson. Oh, gotcha. I've been he, he's got a series of books about a cop, Michael Bennett, and I've been working on reading that series. You know, I think I might have I might have read one of those before. The majority of the books that I uh, that I have gotten, like that are outside of fantasy, uh, come from the library, and it just depends on the day what's at yeah. the library. So uh, I don't know, but that does sound familiar. The name does. So yeah. oh, okay. So um, if I find any of those in the shop, I will set them aside for you. <laughs> well, I've got them all on my Kindle, actually. Oh, all right. Well, never mind then. I won't put them inside of Oreo. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole series on my Kindle, so I'm good. <laughs> okay. Well, um, the uh, the uh, that is the thing that I always ask people though is, what are you reading? What What are you reading right now? Yeah, I'm reading that, and then I've also had a book I start I started about this woman who's trying to escape from Iran. Her husband was Iran was from Iran and they'd been he, they had met in the States. He was living there as practicing medicine. And they decided to take a two week trip to go visit his relatives. Only he decided they weren't leaving. Him, his wife and his, their four year old daughter. So okay. her and her four year old daughter basically become hostages to his family under nice. Iran, Iranian law. So it's like kind of her journey, like trying to figure out how to get out of there and get back to her family in America and oh, okay, make sure okay. her daughter's safe. Who's that one by? Sorry. Uh, you did your drink. Not sure off right offhand. It's, okay. It's okay. actually it's actually one I found in the free bin up at the bookshop. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well darn it. <laughs> I got uh I got uh, a six um shopping bag size uh bags of books um uh donated i believe yesterday um six of the tops shopping bag size bags oh, jam packed bags too <laughs> yeah um <laughs> it is so many books and uh yeah so um i i just put one in the free bin that looks like a dog chewed on it so <laughs> <laughs> uh if you're looking for for a book that's been pre-digested that, that's the one just for you. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so um, with the uh, let's see, with the um, the um anthology, the question that I uh have been curious about is, you do believe in ghosts, correct? Yes. Okay. So um, did you believe before you were in the apartment that you know was haunted um not as much like i watched haunting shows on tv and stuff but i didn't believe it as much until i started experiencing things for myself right right yeah okay that makes good sense actually <laughs> see i've never seen anything i mean that i'm aware of i've never seen anything and so i i don't believe to me it's just fantasy and it's books that i love to read and shows that i love to watch yeah. so i i don't i don't know but uh, I have started to question uh, now that I've, you know, read more, read more things and had people tell me more stories about things that happen around them. <laughs> oh, there's, there's some creepy stories that people like to tell me about the why. And they like to tell me this when I'm alone in the building. Of course they do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Yes. Well, there they um. Let's see. Uh, Violet, the woman who um, I believe she I believe she qualifies as a secretary. I don't know her actual job title, but um, she's a very nice person. She's read uh seven of my Madison Meyer series, so you know she's a wonderful person. 
<laughs> um, so uh, she she came in and uh, I was asking her uh, about, you know, the fact that everybody says the place is haunted. And she's like, I was in the building by myself one evening um, and uh, I was walking through the living room area and I heard someone go, hey. And she's like, she's looking around trying to figure out where this person is. And there was nobody in the building. So nope, there's there. a, a ghost that's very excited to see her. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's her interaction with the spirit well, of the why. Part of the one that I did on my, the part of the one that I did with like my true experiences, yeah. one of them was I had gotten up for work one morning. I'm the only one in the apartment. I'm heading into the kitchen to get some cereal for breakfast. And I hear clear as day, a female voice say, good morning. And there's nobody in the apartment. I don't know where it would have come from. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's no radio on. The TV's not on. Right. It's just out of nowhere <laughs> that really does creep me out just a teensy teensy <laughs> little bit just a little bit oh my goodness but <laughs> i i've never seen anything like that i've never experienced that um so i don't know maybe it's just some people do and some people don't kind of thing like maybe yeah, yeah. i don't know i just i don't know what i believe so I guess we will leave that up to everyone. Everyone else, not us. <laughs> That's actually hey. what I said when I was writing yeah. my experience. I'm like, exactly. Well, I'm, I'll let you decide if you want to believe or not. <laughs> this is what exactly. happened to me. If you want to believe, it's your choice. <laughs> right, right. See, that that's something I find really interesting is I don't disbelieve your story, but I don't know that I think it was the spirit of, you know, whoever. I have no opinion on who it was or why you heard a voice. I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't have an opinion. I, maybe if uh, Hester, the ghost at the Y, does show herself to me, I will start believing uh, <laughs> in everything. So, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> But uh, I do, I do find it really interesting. People's varying beliefs and, you know, mm -hmm. the afterlife and the supernatural type things. So, <sighs> okay. But um, for, uh, for you, you're not a fantasy person. You're a mystery person. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, so the, um, the ghost stories, do you consider, do you consider those fantasy or do you consider those? What do you consider them? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you believe it would be more like mystery, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 Like unexplained mystery, something like that. Ah. Oh. Did you ever watch that show? I did. I, I loved love that, that show. show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there was never an answer, I still loved that. Uh -huh. Did you know that there was an episode of Unsolved Mysteries that was filmed in Barcelona? I did not. Um, uh, I was told about this uh, several years back. Uh, there was, I believe, um, a, a woman like disappeared or something like that. And everybody believed that uh, the guy the husband had killed his wife and buried her under the new deck that he had just put in and the unsolved mysteries people came in and pulled up the the deck and the uh the concrete and all that jazz but they didn't find a body mm -hmm. so they have no idea if this woman is dead or just ran away from her husband wow mm-hmm I find that extremely interesting, if that not interesting. really creepy. <laughs> really, really, really creepy. A little bit. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely got some creep factor going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can write a whole book about that creep factor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, how many of the uh, the other short stories from our anthology have you read? Um, I only read the... I've read two other ones that were that I edited. Okay, the okay. one that you wrote, and then I had that. I guess it's a, the zombie. Yes. One. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, you're you wouldn't be a zombie apocalypse fan, would you? I normally don't. It? Yeah, I'm not. You just, <laughs> zombies usually aren't my thing, but I have to say that one was pretty good. I agree. I very much agree. 
I'm glad you liked it too, because uh, I I realized um, only after uh, assigning um, stories for people to edit that a lot of people really hate this genre, <laughs> and uh, they they were not happy to be handed out some of the stories that they were given. <laughs> um, really sorry, kind of, sorta. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I do agree that um. I love eerie dates. That mm -hmm. is, um, the uh, the writer is William Isaac, and uh, he is a spectacularly wonderful person. There you go. <laughs> uh, just in case, uh, just in case that gets out there, we got to make sure he knows how cool he is. Um, let's see. Um, so I think it was. Um, I can't remember who else. Oh, I, I have, uh, I, I'm going to try and interview everybody from uh, the anthology uh, to uh, build up some, build up some uh, goodwill uh, for the book. And uh, hopefully everybody will read the book, read the book and uh, um, tell us how cool we are. That would be good. I like, yeah. I like that. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so um, the book is a uh, dead end. It's uh, published under Genres Authors Guild. Um, that is the uh, author's name. So um, Melinda has uh, two, possibly three, because I still have to figure that out. Uh, stories in there. They're very good, by the way. Um, and uh, there will be a poetry book in your future, right? Yep. And uh, do you have a guesstimate on when your poetry book will be done? No, not really. Okay. All right. Well, um, that is, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you for joining me this evening. And uh, thank you for uh, giving me a couple of really great stories for the, for the book. My pleasure. I had fun <laughs> writing them, actually. I'm really glad you did. Okay, well, I hope uh, you are not haunted for the rest of the evening. <laughs> See you later, Melinda. See you later. Bye. Bye.